Nyeba gunle namdole sing yende kunge ngemba bo simche kunge nye jigbo tamje kenla gunja nse. Omen shuge nge podane dusum sange kunge ngowo ni rasim chuko ngusuma tenzebe. Zawe lame shabla so waile. Tomar dan bir çöy Nyamsülün bir kulun sambu Ne çünkü sambadan Çançuk ki simdan dembe koni Lungi çöy di Töbadan sambi Nyamsülün bir şüüz Let's start by arousing The excellent motivation That of renunciation and bodhicitta thinking that in this duration of this Dharma session, we're going to engage with the sacred Dharma of scriptures by means of receiving the teachings and reflecting on the meaning of the teachings. ตาขะซังอันจูอืมลําตกจีกีเชรับนัมเบอร์ซุมกีกอลาชิบิกาเบรตินีอ่าเชรับนัมเบอร์ซุมกีนานีตาซัมจุงกีเชรับเซตินี
Dinidila Karisung Verisena Samjungi, Sherapi, Manorwaji, Matuwaji, Langdula, Kevala, Dumbashi, said Latini, Dungu, Dumbashi, said Wa. Lati Candidates and Latini Kansala, meeting Chilatins, Kambuti. Nibadi tini Sigla midden dun latins Tini Sumbadi tini Tang dun la midden Ne dun latins Shibadi tini Nam shilla midden Ye shilla tins a tenacious summer In the <clears throat> in the sutras, that is to say, the words of the Buddha and the treatises, we find guidelines that teach us what is needed in order for this genuine, unmistaking wisdom of reflection to arise in our mind stream. And we talk about this kind of general and more specific um, guidelines. Right, that uh, again highlight the steps that we need to take in order to really integrate the teachings in the most pure, in in the most uh, um, faultless way with our own life, with our own being. So if we look at these guidelines, and we call uh, them the four reliances, four dependencies. The first one is that the instruction is that we should not rely on the teacher, but we should rely on the teachings of the Dharma. The second instruction is that we should not rely on the mere words that express the teachings, but we should rely on the meaning of the teachings. The third instruction is that we should not rely or depend on the provisional meaning, the one that requires interpretation, but we should rely on the definitive meaning. And lastly, the fourth reliance, dependence, is that we should not rely on, on our own conceptual mind, but we should rely on timeless awareness or wakefulness, what we also call wakefulness. La di Jimba Dawdi Pedro di Sana Aranzu Kansaji Duni Tambu Chudi Tugugure Ningugure Tendi Chebe Capsulatini Chu Sumbapo Kansada de Sumbi Chus in Ningure Yana Lam temba poda de tembe lam sech. Dini chu de la ya dini tsig dan dun zin ni gore. Dun de shi gabe ke tsig ji dan. Yan tsig korang ke dun dan goma de kari tingi yu me sech. Ta dun de la ya dini Chidang dang, lava dung, as a number sanje palatini, a dung dang, ye do a sanje ki chu di sun yong do a to di sim jing ki lo dang, wang bajin badang, tung big bunny, a take bajin ba mang bajin sun sha yu do, nek up dang, tartuk sin, tin mang bajin. Tene Tama Dindigi Tunda di Susuki Gomion by Capsulay Antini Susuki Sim Namdo da Deva Shushumbo Yuji da Yan Susuki Namdo da 
dili debe kiti ni susu ki nizin da senzin ki dili debe kiti ni yishi ki yuldu kubas ni niyo gore sumbari ni ani da dili chini kansa dan chu sik da dini kansa dan chu nisha chu korang la ya sik dan dun nisha dun korang la ya ani tang dun da nge dun chu Ini ngedun di tu sini da nyamsu lenyong be kapsu la di ni nam si ki nyamsu nyong be cha chi ta yi si ki nyamsu nyong be cha nyi be nang ni di ni kang sa la mi tun chul la tun ko ba ta sik la mi tun tun la tun ko ba ta dun la nyi be nang ni ngedun la tun ko ba ta di ni nam si ta yi si nyi be nang ni yi si la tun ko ko yore di ge che ya Zikku gore sumba da di siri ya Kang sa di zani tingyu yo mare Zikla zani tingyu yo mare Sipi tindu tindu a mare Di nyi gin nang ni Zuo da wada Ge che di gari jikku gore sinna di ni Che di jikku gore sinna di sumba tindu a re Now to explain these four statements the four reliances. The first one is concerned with a person and the Dharma teaching. So the person here is the one who teaches. So a teacher, the one who guides us on the path. And the Dharma is the path, right, itself. So when it comes then to the one who guides us and the path itself, we should rely more on the path rather than on the persona of the teacher. Now, if we take that path, the Dharma, again, when it comes to Dharma, we can again talk about the two perspectives of the Dharma. The one is just the words, right, uttered, uh, that teach the Dharma. And another one is the meaning. That's actually what the Dharma really tries to point out. So among these two, we shouldn't really rely much on the words that express, right, the meaning, but rather rely on the meaning, right, the actual meaning of the teachings. Now we can further move and say that the meaning itself is also twofold, especially this is very much in the Buddha Dharma, right? This is very Buddhist idea that when it comes to the teachings given by the Buddha, he gave the teachings, some of them with a provisional, temporary meaning, and other teachings were definitive teachings. If we think about this, the Buddha always taught in accordance with the faculties, predispositions, levels of his disciples. That's why we have so many various stages of the path, different vehicles, ultimate, truth, relative, right? Why? Because Buddha taught addressing those kind of needs of his disciples. And that's why, again, we have these two types of meaning, the one that really requires further interpretation and not kind of ultimate one. And another one is definitive meaning. And among these two, we should rely on the definitive ultimate meaning, the and now if we move further and say, well, what about the mind, right, that relies on the ultimate meaning? Well, we have the mind that's very much uh, merged with the conceptual discursive thoughts, right, the conceptual ordinary mind. But we should not rely on this mind, but we should rely on the mind that's really the, be, beyond this conceptual dualistic grasping mind, what we call it, that one is the non-dual wakefulness, right, or timeless awareness. So among these two, we should move beyond the conceptual mind that grasps to duality, grasps to characteristics of phenomena, and rely on this, like, open non-dual wakefulness. So again, right, we can see that when it comes to a person and the teachings, we should rely on the teachings, not, then not on the words, but the meaning, not just the any meaning but the ultimate definitive meaning and rely on our wakefulness. So when we say not to rely, we don't mean that here the instruction is not to like not to rely at all on the teacher or the words, like they don't matter. This is not right, correct. It's just more to emphasize what's more important among these two. Of course, the teacher, the words are still important. But more important than that is the teachings itself, is the meaning of the teachings, and so on. So here it's the really the matter of the emphasis. That's 
ทีนี้ถ้าที่ตั้งบทีที่สกิจเสียจะไปนะถ้าที่จุดนี้ก็จะมาจังดีกันซะเลยมีตัวเฉลี่ยตัวเสียดีจุดตั้งจะไปนะถ้าอันสุดจุดตั้งนี้งั้นสุดสุดสุดกี่วันนี้ดังนี้ตาเอ่อมิเซตาไม่เซมาเลยถ้าพอตั้งทำเช็คเข็มบัสดุชิราเกินตาเนี่ยก็ชุบชิวชิรวะที่อินดูเอ่อกางจุงมางจุงลับสุดเย็นชาวไปนะอันนี้ว่าอย่างมาเลยเอ่อจริงนี่ทีนี้ลำนรีกินเนี่ยก็ชาวอยู่เลยทีนี้กางซาตางั้นสุดสุดกี่วันชาติดูเอ่อลำซังสุเอ่อเช้ามาอินดังสุ Uh, sama main bahasa itu ngaco tajeh kalau kau berwa. Ah, di sini Indo itu dia kau sula dia tangguh pada way ini, so waktu itu tahu jadi susu ngaco tanda ada tangguh di lama tajeh tangguh keris tangguh lama tala ke pada lama tiada ke sini juga berwa. Ah, di sini tak sih ya re. Ani kansa di kongrong dan tiba pada resha. Ani lama siapa tunjuk ki มีเชื่อมั่นถึงสุกิมีเชื่อมั่นถึงแต่บางครั้งสุกิที่นี่เด็กบ้านตั้งนะสิทธิ์ต้องการที่จะกินตัวสิถึงสุดละนี่งั้นสุกิจจะดีตัวสุกิสุสุเจ็บบ้านเด็กบ้านเจ็บบ้านนะนี่การสั่งกิวเชื่อมั่นสุขินดำเนินเสียดีกาลการสั่งจึงงั้นสุเฉพาะเจ้าตัวกรวะเดี๋ยวยินเนี่ยนะการสั่งสุดที่จะได้เกิดอะไรชั่วโมงสุดเอาไปตั้งที่นี่จี Mitchambore sengi suda wata dini kwanan ji ta ta tingsa yina ji ngansu yina ta social dan tinsu kare sewa kare wae jiso na la ji dakpa chumpa yinba zam ji ki gimsin du chine dini lapsu denba yinsha ji ni ani jugyu yo maare sungbare ani kwanan ki labi keja di dendan tingi du tingi mindu ni luk dan tingu du tingu mindu Ani tinjau lah ini sama tanya, cowok di dalam korang ke sesiapa begini, kejadi, ane ni lu dah tuh dah matun lah, sama tanya cukup kerja matu, kahsa cuma ini batang, tapa cuma ini batang, ji, eh, tapi susu ke pinja ini besut awak dah tinjau ke jumsin tu je ni, eh, tembai nanti ni kaya re, sumber tu re. Nah, coba cik, yo tarpa dan tam cikempa, begal cempu dus, kanjung mangjung. Ti jela nancik cesson di kanju manju kare? Ta ta ba tang ta ta ba tang tamji kemba se di nganzu misi mangbo ki keja rawa. Ani di tiongkin ki kansa di ngonye dane ki matul wa manur wa semen ki bu juye nega chumbar wa. Ma to ani kare re se ni Kanju manju ten sha wa ena ti ni so so la ya gyong chumbo ju po ang wa wa. Lam ka noto na. Ti indi da ti manju yi na. Ti seriously liang go hai ti ke chumbo cha ti. Because this topic is quite important, I would love to elaborate on it. Well, let's think about the first reliance. That is to say, a person who teaches and the Dharma. You know, if we are really concerned with uh, attaining liberation and the state of omniscience, if we really know that that's important for us, we we also understand that it's going. It's a it's a long term project, right? It's it's a work in progress, and it's going to take most probably, well, a few lifetimes. Okay, so if it's really such a long term project then the one who is going to guide us towards that result, that achievement, is also extremely important, right? It's not just has to be taken lightly. Oh, who is the one who is going to really take me there life after life after life? I'm going to follow this person, right? <laughs> it's rather a very serious matter and has to be taken seriously because you see the teacher here, the person needs to be really authentic, genuine master, like a faultless, 
you need proper qualified master. Otherwise, if it's someone who is not really a genuine and qualified teacher, and we follow that teacher thinking, ah, it's going to bring us towards that liberation omniscience, and we follow life after lifetime, well, it's going to be a really big problem, right? It's going to be huge damage done. Like, really, it's a serious matter that we are talking here about. And so it's really important to then see who is a valid, authentic teacher and who is not. Of course, now it's hard for us to know, <laughs> obviously. However, there are some methods taught in the treatises, right, for beginners, what to do. And it said that, well, it, at first, in the beginning, we need to be skilled in examining the teacher. We really need to know how to investigate and check the teacher and do it well. In the middle, then, we need to also be skilled in following a teacher. That is to say, know how to attend to that teacher we have chosen. Right, so it's really therefore important to spend a little bit of time checking and examining the teacher, and could be done in various ways. Perhaps if we think, oh, maybe this teacher, this Lama is authentic one, right? The spiritual master is a genuine one. We can ask his or her disciples and really see, like, well, what does this particular master gives you in life? So we can ask questions. We can do research, right? We, we should do research. It's in our capacity to, to check the teacher. So to some degree, we will be able to guess who is authentic master and who is not. But So here it's important to understand that the criteria such as being famous, rich, being our relative or someone who is really socially well connected is not really a criteria for choosing this person, right? That's why we say not rely on the person because, well, it doesn't matter in a way if they are famous, rich, if they are well known in the society. Now we need to see what do they say. Maybe this is a very famous person who everyone knows in the society, but we need to listen carefully. What is this person saying? Is those words are actually valid and true? Are they really in accord with how th things truly are or not? So this is what we need to do. That investigation is really important, right? To see whether this, uh, you know, the words, the teachings of the teacher is, are going to be sort of uh, meaningful and make sense. And actually in, real in accordance with reality. Uh, with how things truly are. So this we can do, right? And again, I can't believe it repeated, that's important to understand that really it has nothing to do again with the fame, renown of that person, or the amount of disciples, or resources, or riches, or connections, right? So it's all about this really seeing the what comes out of the mouth is valid. True or not? That the え、コランキータ、テンテンビケタブラムジ、メンバーギキャランラ、ラブジャジケグレ、テンデチ、テンデマチス。デザンヤムトラタ、トウディ、メンティグロワ。メンディチュナシンチャデバレ。ダンアズ
Member get a chumber in but some jig pink mare, men did that men only danigi, men manorvaci in Gurdwa. Men zuma my embassy. But in the gelatine, cancel a mid in chulatin cigar. We can uh, give an example that will help to really understand this first first reliance. Really, like a good example that makes sense is imagine if <clears throat> imagine you have fallen sick, right? You are unwell. Now you're going to need to go to a doctor. So this kind of sickness requires a treatment from a doctor, a physician. Doctor is a person here, right? In our we, you know, in our reliance, it's a person. He or she gives us a medical advice, but most important, the doctor is going to give us medicine, which is in this case, that's the Dharma, right? In our reliance, that's the second part, which is the Dharma. So, of course, generally, a doctor, a doctor itself is also quite important. We need to find a good one, right? A skilled physician. But the doctor in itself is not going to cure us, right? It's not the doctor that's really like, reads us of our ailments, of our disease, right? It's the medicine, us taking medicine. So in the same way, we can see that it doesn't matter how famous or rich the teacher is, the person is, that is not what, the person is not going to liberate us. Even the Buddha himself has said that I am, you know, I can only show you the path, but whether you follow the path or not is entirely in your hands. So even the Buddha cannot liberate us, right? So of course it's not the person that's going to liberate us, just like it's not the doctor that cures us, it's us having that medicine. So the, having the really proper medicine, not the fake one, but the one that really works, and taking it, it's what is the most important here. That's all. <clears throat> Nipa, the knee, um, chew crown lion, Benangazu, uh, Lamaji, cum de nichulim, chewing ingi yo by another, Lama digita, a chew de la, dishi gabi borva, dishi gabi on duta de la, chew de la, sick down, dunsini, new borva, a goji de la, sick cigure, and he diggy jig, uh, Dundaji Tingure, Keranla Jing, Goach Tingure, Dilla Dunsi. That didn't need in Nan in Tinny, and sick the Samla go de go cordigio maris, but so what did that Dundadi Tinny, go a leva to Chico Grace, and what that did a penna Casangi, Cassishi, Ding Azula. Overthinking the over analyzing Taxi mambo tang 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 on the castle and coachy knocked at the tarot tarot to the wa. Chitang rebut into kitchen borwa. Ninea, the dilachi, Susuki, Susulo gue de carretu. Rua, D. Hakovacinita, D. D. Susuko lips on a dig digger, somebody. Should I get that penanga to Kun Job say, get six zilla summer tang by an antony, six de cane chumbare. Guns in a garrere, jobs in a garrere, and the days in it. She would jig some mamma than a dear uncle go for the vaina, and don't that the lani. Tangazuchi Carisse Intellectual Analysis the Mangra vaina, any Yakuyo Mare, Tinde in by the Tondati, so with Susulaji Go Goechure, Dick Gordon, Susu Simla Pena, Dick Digure, somebody, Dick Gishimbury, somebody. As for the second reliance, now the Dharma itself that we receive uh, as teachings from a Lama, from a Guru, right? The, 
Obviously, it consists of the words uttered by that teacher and the meaning. So the words is what makes us understand. It's just a vehicle for us understanding something, right? It's the method that what it means. It's really means for us to understand. But the meaning is what is actually to be understood. And we shouldn't confuse these two and we shouldn't get kind of carried away by words only. Right, overanalyzing the words and really overthinking the words, forgetting in this way, losing the sight of the meaning, what they're really trying to point out to us. And especially this happens to those who have studied uh, a bit in this more like a serious uh, traditional way of studying, like I already mentioned in the last Dharma session, they run into this problem of overthinking, overanalyzing words, and in this way, kind of forgetting, really losing the the sight of meaning, kind of like thinking about something for too long and then running into more and more problems like atom, atom, dul, dul chen, right? Atom, chik, sun, sun, yeah, like the scientists like analyzing atom and the more, the more, the more they analyze, the more, the more they come up with some issues there and problems right so we can never resolve that we should stop somewhere and just think well what i already know what i understood is that helping me is that enough right if it's already something that is really helping us and sufficient for us that understanding well it's enough we shouldn't then go overly into the words and think okay what does this word relative means Right? Just thinking about the word itself. Oh, especially if we know Tibetan, the word relative consists of two syllables. Kun, zop in Tibetan. Kun means everything. Zop means covered. Well, what does it mean? What's covering everything? What? You know, if we in this way, we forget really what is this word relative trying to point out to us, right? The meaning behind that word. So it's really important not to engage in this kind of too much of analysis. Right and just see. Okay, I already understood what is meant by relative. That that's kind of that's already helping me and my mind. That's good. Right, we can move on. Shouldn't be too fooled and carried away just by the studying the words. Tadi jidang nangju lopjong to zo nangju la lopjong uma chama rigwa tunzo lopjong changba ina tini dilela boyo mare kale kabo yore. Kare Tai ngachumbushi ani chik ni ba dela me ba mai sala yong ba ka sala ti nga ju u ma chama ge ri ba ta du che ba na ya na yo ba yin go gore ya na me ba yin go gore ma to yo ba mai ke me ba mai ge se din su to zo ji ma di di ge su da wo ji 
Gawas ilah biung tu arwah. Tapi kan yang ditentang suku cuma yer. So, di Indo dah di susu ki, susu susu ki tiun cegu tu ah. When to be precise and when to be generalized, like ngansu ina karis over. Going out of your own comfort zone jitu ah. You know, this issue with the words and the meaning is really um, comes uh, to surface when uh, we engage in the studies of, um, serious studies of like Madhyamika, middle way treatises, or Pramana, Buddhist logic, epistemology, right? Learning different types of reasonings like logic. Uh, then it's really not easy <laughs> because you see there each word means something very specific and precise. And each word in the Madhyamika, in the Pramana, defined in a very specific way. And if we change that, if we misunderstand the definition or the word, the meaning changes. It's really going to change the meaning. It's a very specific, it's, it's, a, it's philosophy that's very much tied with linguistics. And linguistic has very precise rules and definitions, which going to change that the way... Uh, you know, the meaning is um, imparted. So that's where we then kind of run into this issue, right? Um, but we should understand still that the words are still just a method. And they are just an instrument for us to realize something that is very much more profound that the words can really describe. And so when it comes to the teachings of the Great Perfection, Sakchen Mahamudra, there it's really different. And holding too tightly to each word and definition is going to mess up that path. It's actually not going to help at all. In this way, you see, in Buddhism, there is time when we need to be very precise with the words and how we use them. So this is like a logic, this is the middle way arguments, how they use the, everything. We can't just change around words, right? Because they're, you know, it's, it's very precise. And we need to also know where to relax and not grasp to words so much and kind of more be like to see that it's more like gen generalized, as Kempola said in English himself, right? So otherwise, if people m mess those two contexts and then come to this higher teachings was like trying to like understand each word, each definition, grasping to it. They miss the main point of those teachings, right? And can't really progress. And same like with Madhyamika, for example, middle way philosophy there, it's really important, right? It says like, oh, you know, it's not existent and it's not non-existent and it's neither existent nor non-existent <laughs> you know the, the language here matters <laughs> you 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 try to change that and <laughs> oops it's gonna be a really different meaning that you add uh, get at the end you can't really mess that that, that kind of structure up so here therefore Kempola suggests that we need to be able to tune our own minds it kind of like tune them and see ourselves oh where to be more precise and where to be more general right um so then Kempula added in english uh, we need to kind of get out of our comfort zone how are you Ni lugi kerja sih yang tu, ane cik di ni lugi tinggi yere, hingga ini yang ta cik re resin tu siwi cik di samla tanu kokor deh bayi na, kini mangku cik doa mangku cik lebih kore, jauh di ta tunda deh aku na di di yere, ta di pe di kandi semua yere sih na. Pernah kan tu, hmm, ah, 
চুম কি চলতা কি রে সাবার কো খা মারবা দি কি তি ল্যাং দি কি কমিউনিকেশন কি সিস্টেম টে হামা কু দি আনি দর দিন তিনি ফাঁকি দাওয়া দু জুগু জু ইউটি আলে তাওয়া সেগে দিনেশ দু হা কোণে দিগদে রা আনি জুগু দি চুগ ছোগ রে দি চুগ ছোগ মারে জুগু দিনে চোন দাওয়া থং গো এ কিমসে কার রে জুগু দিনে চুক রা কানে চিনে দিনে চুক রে সে দা দি লাম মং বসে তা চোপা জ্যাব দেবা এ না তিনি থং গো এ তাওয়া দি মা থং আনি রং না দিছু চোট রে সুন্দরে তি ইন্দি কে কে কি দাওয়া তে ইন্দি কাউসলা জুমু কে চুম রা ইনে জুমু ল গো খর কে মারে জুমু জুগু জুমু চ মারে জুমু কি খাওয়া তুই দু সাচো দিলে দাওয়া দিতে তা কুকুরে সে সুমে পে দু সাপারে And especially this is important when the words that you know been used to describe the natural state the ultimate meaning of phenomena then we the words there are just the means that point out right how things truly are and we shouldn't really grasp to the words themselves over analyzing each word like right? kind of create you know spinning out and thinking and doubting well this word not why another word like the words are just the means right here what's important is the meaning right the, they're trying to describe ultimate nature so if we really understand the meaning it's enough we don't need to remember over and analyze the the words themselves so the good example for this is when you show you know pointing out to a child the moon and you use your finger to point out the moon and you say look look at the sky look there is the moon and now the child not knowing the communication system what the child does the child looks at the finger right kind of missing the point because well not knowing really that system of communication right and looks at the finger now where someone else here knowing that how that all works understands that finger well finger is just the instrument and that's not important in this case well obviously what's important okay the finger is just something that points out to what are ah, the moon and the person looks at the moon and seeing the moon oops my internet is unstable seeing the moon is enough like having that clear image understanding oh that's what that other person is trying to communicate to me that's imp- that's enough right at that moment trying to argue with the person but why you choose this finger why not that finger maybe why not the whole hand why just this one you're not allowed there's a rule you should use this finger right that that would be totally decides the point right so so wasteful of time hey debating about fingers when it's for just something that points out to the moon same way here the words of the teacher of course they are important but we remember we should remember they're just this kind of means instruments that point out to the moon <laughs> to the natural state of how things truly are deni dan goa di dor di na chik di chik le mi din dona tun se di pena da nga zu da wi na সুসুগি ছিক হা গো আমি দা সেম্বল ডিসি ক্যাপ সব চামচি কি ফেন থাকু মারে ধেন্দে কি ধন্দা দি সুসুগি নি থেপ গুগ্রে সুলাবারে দি ইয়া চুম্বর দি গাবসু চলে তি পে ডাবো সানা কারে পে না দা গা ডাবো সা সাবাই না কেরং সোবা সে দি কারে রে হা গুগুয়ে তা সোবা দি গিয়ে হা গুগুয়ে সবা সোবা সে না ছিঙি তিনে রে এওয়া তিনে রে আনি সংস্কৃত ছিলা তিনে সে গিয়ে ইঞ্জি ছিলা তিনে সে গিয়ে দি ছিক দি কি অরিজিন তিনে তিনে রে সে তা দিশে মং থাজু জি ক্যাপ আনি গারং লা ছিক ছিক তো লাভ লামসা লু শিবু জি লং সোবা সে খুঁ খরাং গনু থু মেপে সুরা বুঝি ছা সং বাই না তিনি মাদিক বারে তিনি কোয় নি পাতি খারে ইয়ার সুনা কেরং কি সেই দা মাংবো জি ডিসি ক্যাপসে বাচ্চা মাইবা উনি দানি কেরং লা 
Pena Saba Dawas Shabana, no attend to your budget. And in Susu Lung Round the Lamsa, Sabe Payan Dan, Condor in Yemigan to Den to Bech, and one in the Saba said the Gachin by Yin, Condor Dita, Yabu me, Ranchi Nigal Nugu, the new legacy in Jigum in Dusani, Dusi Response Dan, React Jetubin, and then one in Dani, Chilamid and Donatun said Chapare, did you go at some Jimimba? You are tender, but the land, Silla meat and donut and say, cause the sugar you did into. Here, I also think that with this second reliance, right, not relying on the words but on the meaning, we can um, understand it in a way that the words they just provide us with this intellectual understanding, we understand them, right? But that's not what is important, it's not important to. Remember the words and being able to, you know, to explain, to, to, you know, to repeat those words to someone else. That, that's, that's not helpful. That's really not important, right? So it's not the understanding that's important. In other words, here, what's important is the experiential integration with the meaning. That meaning has really rooted in our own being. That's what's important. For example, if someone asks me, oh, do you know what is patience? And of course, I can say, yeah, I know. Here's the definition of patience. Here's the different divisions of it. Here is the etymology. That's how we say it in Sanskrit. That's how we say it in English and Tibetan. Okay, so I know those words. I understand them. I can uh, relate those words to others. But now when the situation arises that triggers me and I get so angry and annoyed as if I have never heard the word patience in my entire life. What's the point of knowing those words like a parrot, right? It, it shows that the meaning, the real meaning of patience, of that dharma, right, has not been integrated with my mind. Where if I have integrated with the, you know, meaning itself, not just intellectual understanding of the words, I would have moment when someone provokes me remember the qualities of patience really understand deeply how harmful it is to get angry understand the faults how bad it is for me for others and respond in a completely different way so really there's this big difference in terms of grasping to words or to meaning right the one is just intellectual understanding and that's not going to really do us a lot of good and another one is really experiential integration of the teachings and that result in a completely different response. And so that's why meaning here is so much more important. Charismatic speaker la shiraking on the yitro to doa. In a ya, then the yimba samji gimsin to jene, ah, lamla chupa and a dia, yinka sabuciere. Especially these days, it's, um, so easy for us to get seduced by charisma of others, by charismatic things, like being allured by charisma, and then because of that, entering onto the path. And that could be quite dangerous, actually. Lagwardo, Manzu, Chue said the Sick the Tambush and Nimbushida Yomare Pena Anzukaris over Taji Mitakpa, Tatambo, Mitakpa, Shigre, say Sotavada, Tatini, Chasa, Uni, Doko Gre, say Sotavada, Tatinzutini, Tag Mepare, say the Kitchen, the Nimbu de Midua, Amjola. Ta Karan Shigi Mare O Ta Anzu Minju Tapshe Yore Dini Diamond at Ding San Diamond Yores Lava and Azu Tis look keyboard to Angara Sembati Tinder, Tati Nazu Karesina 
ก็งั้นนี่สุดละตะคังมามาจิงั้นสุเอ่อกะดอกเลยอีอิงเตชุกชุมปะเจอเลยงั้นสุดละที่จุดนี่สุกิเกจะดิชระนิมบะยอมา
Uh-huh. Do you camp a lot? Thank you, Duge. Nala. Yeah, lasso. Pishan. Tama di. My di. Jumpo gompu da. Chu di nyone yina. Dampo. Dima pe du cha tindi. Ne chik chis. Dima ka gira wa. Dima ya po mea wa. Tindi da nganzu. Chu se de di su di gara resna. Da dampo. Da. Lasso. Korwa dunga ge ranshin re. Ok. Tini mitak pa re. Da shi gira resla bion di. Nganzu yinbo mitu wa. Dendis yung gari esong pare. Ine ya. Ine ya ko. Dima ya ko. Mea ba zam jigri gimsin du chen ni. Yung ma sha wa chen ni. Mikin ni chin ba ni. Sawa ni. Ni towa di shimbu. Ya subu nesa la chenpo tindi yu diya ni. Shini ha ko yung gari wa. Diki value da wu. Dendi chiu chue se tindi yu yu slap. Ok. The protector Maitreya said that the real authentic dharma is like medicine. And here, of course, we shouldn't think of the medicine we have in the West. As Kimpola says, like, you know, with a lot of artificial flavors and coloring. So, you know, it's actually taste and looks quite nice. Think about Tibetan medicine, okay? If you know what it means, it's made of raw ingredients. So nothing of flavors or uh, colors added. It's, it's, it's right, yeah, it's really raw. And often it stinks. Ah, oh, it smells so bad, right? You have to like block your nose like this when you're taking it. So the Dharma, the real Dharma, my, the protector Maitreya said, is like that. Right, the medicine is really good. It really is going to help you, but maybe it's a bit right. It stinks and smells, and you're not used to it. And yeah, that's what happens when we hear, every, you know, that everything is suffering. You're going to die one day, right? It's the truth. It's going to help us, but it's sort of like we need to block our nose, like taking medicine. We we're not ready to just <laughs> take that as it is. But slowly, the, you know, Maitreya continued and said, well, the more you take this medicine, the more you see that it's actually curing you, right? And the taste is actually not that bad after all, right? You, you're gonna, it's, gonna, it's going to grow on you, basically. That's what Maitreya said. And you're going to start seeing its value. You're going to forget about that it's okay. Well, right, it stinks. But you know what? It really helps me. So the Dharma... Is exactly like that. The real Dharma. Chitanga zu shindo dao chi na yang. Ati didi si pese sai shindo dun zu pe chenbo ning je wo pe zangma yako tongo do ba. It's almost like it's too good to be true si gara ba. Inji gara ni. Che lai din de yore. Che ka shi. Ini organik sendo dengan tujuh tujung rawat tujuh zangma mepesor so so ib kado ya aku zangma mesti ni yang kedua. Ini cuya dia dah usir. Unattract unattractive organic dharma cinta yang attractive artificial dharma c. Here you go. We can give a also modern example ourselves and say that it's just like, you know, fruits that have been given, a, well, that have been grown with a lot of pesticides and um, it's now like a perfect shape, perfect color, perfect uh, size, right? It's all round. Every apple looks the same, big, round, sparkling, almost true. Too good to be true, as Campbell said in English, right? And, you know, where other fruits, like the organic ones, where there was not much of pesticide, the permaculture fruits are going to be small. Each fruit is of different shape, of different color. There may be some worms in them because, well, it's organic, right? <coughs> so that's exactly the situation with the Dharma. We have a unattractive organic dharma the real one and we have a really attractive but artificially created dharma 
ตันดีเปดดอบชาวไหนนะเนี่ยตันจีชื่อบ่าตะกันซาละมีตุนชื่อละตุนเสดิเมมบาตาเมมนาชินจีเอสตะชื่อละมีตุนดอนละตุนเ
right? Guiding them according to where they are on the path, according to their level of understanding. And so those teachings, the ones that are not concerned with really the final meaning of how things are, but more like just giving you the guidelines of how to get there. So a lot of those teachings are on relative truth, right? Those are known as the teachings with the provisional meaning, where the teachings with the definitive meaning is where the teacher, the Buddha, pointed out right away, not just relative, but really ultimate nature. So the end of the staircase, how it really is. And he pointed it in the most direct and clear, straightforward manner. So going right to the piece of the matter. So that's the teachings with definitive meaning. <clears throat> Sanjiki ま、<音><音><音><音> In a main touch by Yimba Samji Digio Mare, Gansa Koran la Gogudu Gogu Mindos in the Takuva. The Sanji Chu Sumba di Antini, Candidates in a Tangazo Sanji Namta Tebaina, Sanji Tende, Lamgala Pevungre, Tine Mita, Medatu Yungrova, Kashi, Shingbare, Kashi, Tongbare, Kashi, Gebore, Kashi, Lare, Kashi, Lure, Da Mendaki, Semjin Tu Yungore. Semjin Koranzo get come down, Wangbo, Melba, Shidagi, Kebachumbore. Then in Sanjiki, Chu de Sun de Kaduinia, Kansa Koranki, somebody came beton and didn't some be Chu de Sungere Mato, or Danga Shobe tended lying, and in Kondayan tended lam the Digimare, and in Shobe Labutan Kaldu Gudus and Sanjiki tended sunny, the Nangio Mare, and Sanjiki Namda Kashina, Sanjiki Shobe Mijione. Yure Yomares, <laughs> Labi Sanji, Yure Sungresler. Any Gonda de Walla Mission Bajon, D. Yure Yomares and Yaka, the Kawaka, what did a Yomares Sungresler? Any Sanji get in the Sung Yomakas on the Sanji Shabji Yorwa, and a Korangi, Kijitidwa, and Kela, than you shall be me the Yombekas, the Kiki Yure Sungsong, that Tanda Gonda Mission Bajon, the Kiki Medison, the Candidates Labion Ditney, Sanji Gita, Dandin Koranzo, Chudu Zodi. Shogbi yongi midile yore slamna kola pendo chayor. Jeza sanji yore sumbare. Konda yongi midile mere slamna kola pendo chayor. Jeza kola mes sumbarwa. Tang di indi da tang duin e duin siri dindi yungor. Tang duin se di. If we look at the teachings given by the Buddha, eh, they were not like a uh, these days, um, authors writing a book and uh, giving a speech, so it has to be coherent and means that, like, what is said in the beginning cannot contradict what's said at the end of the speech of the book, right? Cannot be different. That That's not how the Buddha taught. The, his main aim was to help others, and that's it, right? He was only concerned with that. It, it's not like um, one medicine is going to help everyone and so has to have to tell everyone same thing. Like, think about this. If, um, if uh, someone with a headache comes to a doctor and the doctor says, well, I have this very, very good medicine. It's like the best of all medicine that I have. Well, yes, uh, albeit it's a medicine for cancer, but because it's such important medicine, I'm going to give it to you for your headache. 
well, it's not going to cure the headache of the person. So it's kind of useless, even though the medicine itself is so um, like a, like the best best medicine there is on the market. So that's not important, right? Rather than any other pill that's actually going to address the need of that person, which is headache, is going to do it. Maybe it's paracetamol, okay? But it helps. That's what matters. That's what mattered for the Buddha, right? It was not important uh, whether it's um, the most valuable thing or not. It What mattered that it really treated others. It benefited others. If we look at the Buddha's life story, right? he when he went for alms, he has met many different people along the way. Some were farmers, some were merchants, some were old, some were gods, some were nagas. And of course, their faculties, that's to say their level of intelligence, their predispositions differ drastically one from another. And the Buddha was seeing those faculties very clearly. He could see and know what is to be said and given to each person according to exactly where they are. Right? And sometimes things were contradictory, that's what, the, the things uttered by the Buddha, the teachings. right? Like um, someone who has come to the Buddha in the morning and asked an important question, like, does this exist? And that's really important for that person, and the Buddha would see what has to be answered to help that particular person. He, he said, perhaps he said, yes, it exists. And in the evening, the other person came and asked the same question, and the Buddha said, no, no, of course it doesn't exist. You know, and that happened all over. If we look at the life story of the Buddha, that's just uh, everywhere. And then, oh, in the teachings of the Buddha, if we look there, so the attendants that were present, right, in both occasions, morning and evening, like, would question the Buddha and ask, like, but uh, how come? So does it exist or does it not exist? And the Buddha said, well, it was more helpful for the first person to know it exists and for the other to know it doesn't exist. And that's what we mean by the teachings with provisional meaning, temporary meaning. That's to say they require interpretation. They are contextual meaning, uh, sorry, teachings that needs to be understood according to each context. That's all. Tadi patient Symptom never say, Mado, never never say, men marry. In a yanta, painkiller de Martina, any step nipa sumba to Toto Marva. And they are nursing as a cancer dog and never in a commend the pay, remember Mangos in the sunny drug of the war. A main cashy symptom came men, main cashy nesam only came in. That under Tanduin made him second day so that was it. That you Tanduin said and so that Nazu energy initial Tambok and one drug in main dog. Coming back to our analogy with the doctor and the medicine, here again we can use it. And you see, <clears throat> some of the medicine, like painkillers, right, like paracetamol, what it does, it addresses the, the symptoms and not the actual root of the problem. But it's important when someone has a very strong headache, you, you know, what you need, first of all, is to help with the headache, with the symptom, which is headache. And only then you can proceed to the second and third stage. Like, remember the staircase. 
it's by first of all doing something to addressing the first one, then you can move to the second and third one. You know, same even with the cancer, right? There's so many different treatments, some and medicine. Some of them deal with the symptoms, side effects, symptoms that come from the, having disease or taking medicine, but others address the root of the sickness, right? So both are medicine, but the aim of taking it, the goal really is <clears throat> different. So same with the provisional and definitive teachings, right? The provisional treat the symptoms and it's important so we can move on to the next stage and next stage without having that sort of headache, so to say. And the definitive one is like that medicine that addresses the root, the main cause of the sickness, right? And kind of eliminating it once and for all. That means you Lamgi Rimbati, Hakwe, Negachumbere, Paresanata, Yetangi Labanash, Sangi, Toda Mazuta, Tekwa Rimba Sum Segre, Tini, Toda Nga Segreva, Tekaps Latini, Namang Amada, Chima Chimasni, Rimba Mindava Yungu Lawar Duda, Pena Sangi Kapkabla. Dembashi, Dunga Yore, Kunjum Yore, Koba Yore, Lam Yore, Sum Yore, Kapka Latini, Lam Me, Koba Me, Tendean Sum Yore, Tene, Kapka La, Nyomong Bati, Pangja Yin Sum Yore, Yang, Nagla Sopa Kaps Latini, Ta, Pangja Yin, Sitting Sum the Kaba Yore, that you got let into Chasan the Tinik or Lam Girimba in Baja Hakona. Gomba kami tu toh tu gitu bah. Di ha makona, tangan saya ini konteks tu, siapa yang bati ha makona, ini tente ini tu la transition ki period la kalah kau pun jengkol ni. Tuh ni, ni tu ni cangsem la tu berkap sula transition period la kalah kau pun jengkol. Cangju semba kap sula ini, tuh ni ngah la tu berkap sula. Tangan tu mang se, pecah tu berkap sula, tuh keje mangku jengkol bah. Ini thamah thamah nyamlin je berkap sula, ngah keje tu mangku jengkol ya bah. Ini tu la tente sem gitu yang lata. The transit je matu beke je bala gade di ni kanga cungur. Di tu iba di dangdeng ni tu se di ni iba di sebo hakona ni di tu transit ya bu je tu kere di ni kanga cungur. So <clears throat> to understand the difference between provisional and definitive meaning is quite important because the Dharma is extremely vast and it has many different contexts, has many different stages. Like we have the vehicles, we have sutras and tantras, right? And according to each and every context, the Buddha taught different teachings. So sometimes we hear like there's there are four noble truths, there is suffering, there's a region, there's path, there is cessation. And then in other teachings, we hear the Buddha said there is no path, there is no cessation. In some teachings, we hear the afflictive emotions is what to be abandoned. And then in another context, that's the tantric one, <laughs> we hear that the afflictive emotions are to be taken as the path and not to be rejected. And, you know, if we don't understand provisional and definitive meaning well, that kind of distinguishment, we will see these teachings often as contradictory and will get confused. So it's really understanding clearly what is provisional, what is definitive. Um, at the end, it's going to help us not to see that, well, it's going to show us, actually, that there is no contradiction. And really knowing context well, will go, is going to help us very much. Otherwise, we're going to get lost in that transition. It's going to be a hard transition from like Shavaka teachings um, 
to the Bodhisattva teachings. We're going to get lost in the differences, right, in terms of what is said in each vehicle. And then going from Sutric context to the Tantric context, again, it's going to be very bewildering and puzzling for us. Like, especially those who study a lot of texts in the Shedra kind of style, right? Monastic college style, we study sutras. But at the end, the last few years, we are studying tantric teachings. And the transition is brutal if we don't see the difference between provisional, definitive meanings, and those different contexts, right? So that's why it's so important to really understand this one, this point. Tachitangazu ที่อินบาซองซันตางานซุงนี่นางบาซันเจปาลางีตันจิชุบนาชิเอ่อเทกปาริมบามังบุยเนียทัมจิกงบากัลเมตุตอเยตานยัมสุเลกิทับยอเ
তে নানি নামে কে ইউল সেদু সামা তা গো দেব চে না সে নু চে না সুজিং কি ট্রেপাতং চেবে কি থা চে সাপাতং সে সাপা চে দাম সুজি নিলে দেবে কি সেবা কে নং সাপা চে দাম থং সাপা চে নিয়ে সুপারে ตกปฏิกิยังดิญวาตันตกปฏิกิยังดิญิเดกับสกัดยังดิญงาจุนัมเชลาซุนซินยิดันเจเบกินนัมเชลาติงกิยอมาเรซุนซินยิดันดัล
reliances, we need to remember them and that's take them as our guideline. ตอนนั้นเชื่อเลยมีดินอีเชื่อเลยตินเสียดีงั้นเมื่อดีก็ได้เลิกกันได้จริงอยู่สักเรื่องนี้สู้สู้สู้กี่จีเอ่อเมื